Hi, I'm Kenny Joya. Welcome to another one of my tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you how to group sends in Reaper. Now I have a track in front of me here with a bunch of drums. We have a kick, a snare, a few toms, and a pair of overheads. And I want to add some reverb to it. Let's see what we have now. It's pretty dry. So I'm going to use an effects send and create an effects return where we could put reverb and send all these tracks to it. So create a track here, name it drum verb. Then I'm going to put a reverb on this track. I'll choose this plugin right here, reverb, which is an IR reverb an impulse response reverb. So if you sample a room, we can recreate that room using a sample. So let's make this completely wet and turn off the dry. This way the dry sound comes from the drums and the wet sound comes from the reverb on this track here. So we'll add a file right here. And I'll choose this one, which is a sample of a room. So we can close this and send these drums to this track. So I'll select them all, hold down shift, and grab the routing and drag and drop it right to here. See how it changes to a patch cable? That lets us know we're creating a send. So I could drop it. So now if we check the routing on this track, we'll see we have sends for all these tracks, our kick, snare, our toms, and the overheads. But if I play it now, There's too much reverb. So let's bring these down and add the right amount of reverb to each track. Right about there feels good. But if you notice, there's a different level for each one of them, carefully chosen for each sound. But let's say we want to readjust these all together. We want to group them. But there's no easy way to make all these faders move together. But we could do that with another track that we can use as a master group. So let's close this. And instead of sending our drums from here to here with the reverb, let's create another track where we could move the reverb to and then use this one as a master send or for grouping all these sends. So we'll make a track down here. Let's name this one drum verb. And let's move this plugin to it. And we'll do that by holding down Alt on the PC or Option on the Mac and just drag it to here. And that moves that plugin from this track to this track. So let's rename this track Drum Verb Send. So we still have our tracks right here, all going to this track. But if we play it now, we don't hear the reverb, because the reverb is now on this track. But we still hear sound on this track, which is what's being sent from these tracks. But we don't want to hear that through this track anymore. So let's turn it off, turning off the master pair and send right here. So now we're not going to hear the drums playing through this track. So if we solo it, we don't hear it. But it's still being sent here, as we can see. Right in the meter. But now we can send this track to this track. So we can then hear the reverb. Drag the routing from here to here. Leave it full up. Post fader. And now we should hear the reverb with the same mix we had before. And we do. But now we have an extra track to control all the sends at the same time. So the balance that we set up before, right here, is still intact. But we have a master control or a group for these sends right over here. So if we turn it off, 
there's no reverb. Or if we bring it down, there's less. Or if we bring it up, there's a lot more. But again, it's still in proportion to how we set it up over here. So at any point, we want more reverb on the drums, we can just bring it up right here. A bit more or a bit less without having to open up the routing for this and readjust them all. We could do it all in one place. And it's also very handy for automating. Let's say we want to boost the reverb on the drums just for this fill right here. We could do that by automating the send. Let's bring this back up. Let's type V to open up the envelope for this mass to send. And let's create a few points right here and here. Then we can bring it up just for that fill. And then back down afterwards. Well, let's say we have a section over here where we don't want to hear any reverb. We want it to be dry. Make a few points here and here, here and here, and just bring it down. And it gets dry just for that section. So by doing it this way, we created a master control for everything we set up over here. And this is going to work with any send. Maybe you have a bunch of vocals where you want to adjust the reverb for all of them. You could do the same thing. Or maybe some long delays where you just want to push up in certain sections, but you want to do it to all the vocals, or all the drums, or all the guitars. Anytime you're using multiple sends on similar instruments, you can group the send just how we did here. So that's pretty much it. That's grouping sends in Reaper. I hope you learned something. I hope you can use it. And I'll see you next time. Thanks. Mom.